Hi guys. So today I wanted to talk about my tooth implant because my first ever video about my teeth was about my braces experience and that got a lot of love I guess. Like a lot of people really liked hearing about my experience with braces. And my second video I posted relating to my teeth was about my gum grafting and my bone grafting. And not as many people were interested in that. I think it's just because not as many people get bone grafting and gum grafting done. And a lot of people get braced. Yeah, so if you haven't seen those two videos, you can go check those out. I'll try to link them down below or you can just look them up on my channel. Um, but today I wanted to focus on the actual peg that got put in and the crown. Um, so basically a little review for the people that don't know about my gum grafting and bone grafting. Um, Okay, I was born without a few teeth because my mom had a cleft palate, so genetics passed down and I was missing a bunch of teeth naturally. And one of them happened to be at the front of my mouth, so the dentist and the orthodontist and all that was kind of talking my mom into getting me an implant eventually. So I got braces to move my teeth around, they kept one space open, they attached a fake tooth onto that so I wouldn't look unnormal. And then... After my braces got off and everything, that's when all the surgeries started. They noticed I didn't have enough bone to actually get an implant put in, so I had to get bone grafting done. And then they noticed I didn't have enough gum because it was divoted in, so they had to take some gum from the top of my mouth and put it there. That's basic review. I talk more in depth about it in the other videos though, so you can go check those out if you're still interested. In my last video, I kind of mentioned I got two surgeries in one. I got my gum grafting and my peg put in in the same surgery, same time. Um, yeah. Basically, it involved just drilling a hole pretty much with like, you know, orthodontic drills and stuff. They drilled a hole into my jawbone up here. Uh, that one's the tooth right there. That's the big one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even really tell. They drilled it in. They put like a screw type thing in there. It actually screws in. I have a few x-rays and stuff, so I'll just insert pictures so you guys can like visualize what I'm talking about a little bit more. So they basically put a screw into that place and at that point they didn't put a crown on because like two surgeries and one is a little bit of enough. So they just had a little metal piece sticking out of my mouth. I had to take pills and stuff to like keep away infection and get rid of the pain and everything. And um, the second surgery was definitely more painful than when I just had the bone grafting done. Maybe it's because I had the gum grafting and the peg put in all in one, but it's also like they literally drilled up there. So it caused a little more I don't know, more was done, I guess, so it hurt more. I did take pain pills for both these surgeries. But I was like, okay, this is an actual surgery. They're cutting me open. Yes, they can give me pain pills. Um, so these ones were the same as last time. You take one every four to six hours. And I was lit, or was it take two every four to six hours? I forget. Don't mess up my hair. I was like, after the two hour mark of taking my pain pills, I was like, mom, I need another one, it hurts so much. And it just felt like thumping and it, you can feel your heart beating against where the surgery was. And that's kind of a pain in the butt. So you can't really do any exercise or anything because if you do, your stitches can like kind of burst open and you will bleed and that's, uh, then you gotta go see the doctor again and everything. <laughs> I heal really fast, like I said, that's why he gave me the two in one. So it didn't take me too, too long to heal from it. It definitely took me a little bit longer. I remember the um, part where they took the gum, actually, so this was my past video I talked about bone and gum grafting. They took the gum though and they did the pick. So when they took the gum, it took longer for the roof of my mouth to heal because for a long time I would just like put my tongue to the top of my mouth and I would feel this weird bumpy thing where they had took it and now I can't feel that at all. <laughs> I can feel where the bone is that they had to add in because it's bumpy, but um, I can still eat normal and everything. And um, after they put the peg in because the metal was sticking out, my retainer had the fake tooth on it that hid that metal. And sometimes I would take it out and be like, hey guys, look, I got a screw in my mouth and I would show all my friends. And yeah, it was, was kind of cool. I felt like a robot. <laughs> and then just a few... Two weeks ago, 
two weeks ago I got the crown put on. Um, basically they molded everything. I took pictures of what my mold looked like and then they send it off to a lab and they shape it properly and then my tooth color is very unique apparently. It's like yellowish at the top and it goes more whitish. I don't know, everyone has unique teeth, but mine needed custom coloring. <laughs> they write all the characteristics of your tooth down and then they paint it. We went back a few days later to the dentist and they took my, oh, I forgot to mention, I got a temporary um, crown on for a bit. Like after my retainer came off, they did put a little temporary crown onto the screw part of the peg. So I had that on for a really long time. I actually had it on through prom. You could tell a little bit that it looked a little different, but not a lot, so I didn't mind at all. I still smiled a lot because I finally had my retainer off. They, I kind of, <coughs> I kind of planned with them to get my retainer off before prom because I didn't want to have wire on my teeth. Basically the temporary stayed on for a long while, like I got really used to it and I, I was okay with the color and everything. But then two weeks ago is when I got the actual one put in and when they put it in they noticed it was really gray. It didn't look like all my other teeth. The dentist was not happy with it and when I looked at it too I was like yeah that is a little gray so I didn't mind getting another one because like this is staying in my mouth pretty much forever. It's supposed to last a lifetime if I take proper care of it. But the same day that we realized the color was really gray, yeah. we went back to the custom coloring guy and he, he wasn't actually there, the actual guy. So his little like lab guy, I guess had to do my teeth <laughs> and I was sitting in the office like, they sealed the, the they sealed my temporary back on as I went to go see the other guy because they didn't want to just not have anything in that hole and they kind of sealed it shut. They put some cotton and then that hardening stuff, you know they use that little blue light that I love. I love that blue light. It's so cool. And they hardened it and then we went away and it was like supposed to come off easy but because the guy wasn't there that's normally there that's like I guess a doctor type dentist dude um, his assistant was there and he's like legally not allowed to use a Dremo or anything on my mouth so <laughs> I was sitting in the office like a little dentist with a little picky thing and I was picking at the back of my tooth trying to get the tooth off so he could put the real one in the place of the temporary to make sure the color matched all my other teeth we couldn't get it off like I picked at it so much and I couldn't get it and the sound of it's like kind of like mini nails on a chop and we, we gave up. So they did the color. I was really happy with it. Um, I might be able to take a picture and show you guys um, what it looks like close up, but I was really happy with it because they got all the details right. So you cannot tell that it is an implant. It looks like I got, I mean, I didn't want a nice smile. Honestly, I had teeth all the way up here and I just wanted them pulled down with my braces <laughs> and then I was good. Um, but like, I'm glad I got it all done, I guess. I don't know. I guess it, it definitely looks better when I smile now than what it used to when I was little. So the temporary was only made of plastic, but the permanent one I have on now is made out of porcelain. So what they do is they actually they literally looks like they're painting the tooth. They have like a little paint kit and a toothbrush, not a toothbrush. Oh my gosh, a paintbrush. <laughs> and they like paint the tooth's colors on and then they go and they put a clear coat on it and they have to put it in the furnace again for like 20, 15 minutes. And then you're good to go after that. So we got that done. And then we had to go all the way back to the dentist again. And then they finally put it in and by this time my mouth was really sore because I didn't get any freezing when they put all the when they put the tooth in because like it only tickles really and I figured they wouldn't have to put it in and out multiple times so by the time I finally got the right temporary put in it was really sore and I felt like I had bruises on my gums and um, that went away after a few days but it was just really sore <laughs> um, and it was funny because everyone thought I was frozen. Like when I went to the custom coloring guy, he was like, you're frozen, right? Like I can pick there and try to get the tooth off. And I was like, 
no, I'm not frozen. <laughs> I was like, please let me do it. Because <laughs> when you're frozen, they can pick at you and if you, if they accidentally nick you and you start bleeding, then you, like you're frozen, you don't feel it oh well. <laughs> Oopsies, they made a mistake. But when you're not frozen, you feel everything. So you might jerk away or get upset or something, you know. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm done with all my dental work, I guess. And that's it, guys. So this is the end of the video. Bye.